The video on the previous slide that you happened to see was a picture I had taken of me while I was in Bulgaria teaching a real estate conference for two weeks. I've been very blessed and fortunate to have traveled a lot of places in the world as a real estate instructor. And I don't say that to brag in any way. I just want you to know I've been fortunate and blessed to have had the opportunity to travel and teach courses all over Russia, Bulgaria, Serbia. I've been to Finland and many other places. But that specific picture that you just watched or viewed from Bulgaria is very interesting to me because in Bulgaria, there's no real estate licensing laws at all, period. And so literally the real estate agents there were telling me that they're competing against Uber drivers. So people come to Bulgaria, they're wanting to buy a home and the Uber driver says, not only can I take you around Bulgaria and show you all the sightseeing places, but I can help you find an apartment too. And so there's no regulation. The agents who are taking real estate seriously there and who are international realtor members, they really want to see regulation. They would love to be able to take a continuing education course, to have that as a requirement. And so when I was having this interview with this journalist, she was actually, she didn't understand. And she, she thought, the way the government thinks, that regulation is bad. In other words, regulation limits the ability for consumers to get a good deal. And that's the way a lot of these countries actually think. They think by adding more regulation, it pushes more people out of the business. Well, I'm not here to have an economic debate with you. I just want you to know that in a business like this, real estate that you and I are in, we handle sometimes the biggest investment most people will ever make, the biggest financial investment most people will ever make. And to me, there needs to be some type of regulation to make sure that we're just not letting anyone be involved with transactions that are a person's entire life savings. And so, you know, could there be uh, an argument for closed markets versus open markets? I'm sure there probably could be. But at the same time, I think when we look at the FTC's obligation and some of the information that we're sharing with you in this module, having regulation, making certain that there is the ability for prices to freely be exchanged in the marketplace, um, I can provide a, a rate and maybe it's lower than your rate, but, but you could provide more value or more services or vice versa. And so that competition is what makes us all better. I remember many years ago, had my live real estate course here in Southeast Missouri and had a lady who worked for me. And lo and behold, like what happens a lot of times, she left my, my school and started her own school. Well, you know, that made me a better school owner because I knew I had to up my game and provide more services in order to be able to compete and to provide the, the level I needed to get to, to maintain the business that I had. Same way with, with competition. What if, what if there was no ability for me to have entered the online real estate market just a few years ago? because if it was controlled by a few bigger schools and they could push or keep me out, at some point they could charge whatever rate they wanted to for online schooling and you watching would be forced to pay whatever those schools charge. So you can see that open competitive markets help us all as consumers, as businesses, and it's something that we need to cherish and be proud of. Otherwise, we go back to places like Bulgaria, and it could be a total chaotic mess for people who are trying to purchase real estate, and more importantly, for even those people who are trying to conduct business in a professional and uh, in a way that 
safeguards and protects consumers. So just wanted to give you that little insight and history to provide to you how sometimes we don't realize other countries do not have it as fortunate as we do here in the United States. Well, I hope you're enjoying the course. We've got lots more to cover. I just wanted to give you that little side note that I thought was important for this portion of the class.